chasing the stars will stride into the dawn. Never back down till the battle is won. Face each foe with hearts brave and true, unafraid of the unknown, because I'll face it all with you. Hello, I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Today, we'll be continuing Swade's playthrough of Pokemon Violet. But now it's finally time to head to school, and... Wait, this kid's asking me to battle. He's seeking consent? Surely not. I made eye contact, that means I was asking for it, right? Well, this is off to a bang-up start. You... You mean all this time it was just culturally ingrained systemic abuse? We never had to force our Pokemon to fight? We... we could have been friends all along? Whoa now, let's not get crazy here! I, I think I need to sit down. Whew. Okay, let's get back to it. Man, this must have been how Americans feel when they find out hospital childbirth is completely free in New Zealand. You mean it's not free here?! Me 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 me. Then it's another new Pokemon in a row with Fido here, who's cute, don't get me wrong, but Pokemon that actively look like food make me uneasy. Like it wants you to bite it or something. And yet none of the food Pokemon are the ones that actually get eaten. Weird. Hey cool, it routes. I like this line a lot and I'm glad they got the fairy typing so there's some more cool looking fairy types, but at the same time I do have a bit of a hype whiplash after the very passionate fandom rose up around them. Me, 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 me. Then before we hit the checkpoint, there's also NOPE! Out, demon! I will catch you when I need to for in-game Pokedex completion and not a second before then! You know, if you haven't seen Swade's Pokemon journey, which is very likely now, you'd have no idea what Swade's issue is with the Jigglypuff line. But pushing that forcefully aside, so this is the new TM system. Oh, I see, that's what all the weird crafting ingredients are for. That's kind of neat, although I feel like crafting busy work seems a little trend chasey for my liking, even in Legends. At least you can buy the ingredients for LP if you're short. Uh, Swade, I hate to tell you, but that's the sell tab. You can't buy extra ingredients, just get rid of the ones you don't need. And then I slide on over to the Pokemart. Literally. That's another major visual glitch. Let's just keep it counter and see how it stacks up, huh? With the trip through inner space and now this, that's two so far. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to compare a damn near game-breaking glitch to a quick visual hiccup. But yes, this is usually a highlight. Talking to the folk, establishing the culture, invading their... Invading their... No, no! None of them? I can't go into any of the houses? In the first town? Where is my home invasion simulator? Dang it, I want to burst into a man's house and demand they trade me their farfetch before smelling their bedsheets and checking their bins. Uh, okay, okay, it's, it's, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but I, I just miss being able to see how people live in this amazing world. And if I have to burst in their door and violate their right to privacy to do it, uh, no, no, you, you got it all wrong. You're the one twisting this. I, I just wanted to turn on their TV where they aren't home and... Look, I get it, but personally, I'm not too bothered by it. Honestly, I never went into any building I didn't have to. Hi. My name is Swade. Me. Hi, Swade. I have autism and ADHD. Many people hear that and think I can't pay attention or that I'm off flitting all over the place like a hummingbird or something. But those of you who actually know people with either of these disabilities know that it's not that you can't concentrate, it's that you have trouble choosing what you concentrate on. I have no joke here, I just want to help you get that message out. Case in point, I started out up that hill towards the school when I was struck by a thought. Ideas are very dangerous things. You know what? Having a male route so I could evolve into Gallade along the journey would be pretty cool. I'll just quickly catch it now. Won't be more than a couple of minutes, right? Where the flip is that freaking bowl cut pair of white parachute pants? I have never heard of Ralts being referred to in such a manner, but god I hope this won't be the last. I sure do love you, Lapata! You know I love you because you aren't in my sandwich right now! Hey, at least it didn't pull the landed a critical hit wishing to be praised thing. So then I realized that Routes was way too uncommon for me to farm, especially in a video playthrough. So I left it and properly began towards the- YOU SENTIENT LIME JUICER I CURSE YOUR NAME! Okay, now I just need a list of these terms for Ralts. This is amazing. May your children's IVs be suboptimal, and your parents show up on fur affinity! May all your- Oh, hey, a magic card. Ignoring the, quite frankly, Shakespearean-level insults there, I don't think I've ever heard someone so fascinated by a Magikarp. And I played the app game where you just teach the things to jump. 
Oh, she wants a battle, huh? Yeah, I, hey, you know what? No. Wait, before you literally said... What? Oh, hey, Nimona. Y yes, please, I could use a battle. Don't ask. You can't back out now! Claw for a la heel? Is this the first unambiguously dead Pokemon the player is allowed to eat? I mean, I know it's been confirmed that people eat Pokemon since Gen 1 with Farfetch, but I'm pretty sure the player hasn't ever been given the option to eat any. Well, I mean, I guess there's Slowpoke tails, but those weren't from dead Slowpoke. Wait, dang it, lots of crabs can grow their claws back, so maybe this is sustainably sourced cloth meat, so... Yeah, I probably just wasted your time. No, because now I wonder, do Pokemon give these body parts up willingly? I mean, they have some level of sentience, and they like helping humans, so... Well, okay, let's just put these niggles behind us and go get a nice, rejuvenating, and I can't afford a haircut. Well, you should have thought of that before you bought... food. Wait. After choosing to help out this girl, to be honest, it would have been nice if Game Freak used they here. Not even just because it's inclusive, there's no way your character could have known that that was a girl just by looking, and guessing is just a minefield. To be fair, the fan base has been giving Professor Oak shit for not being able to tell at a glance for years. After showing up what I'm sure will be the latest TikTok dance... They send out another new Pokemon, Shrudel, and if I wasn't spoiled on their evolutionary line, I would have bet cash money that this was a pre-evolution to a Paldean Smeargle. I thought it was a bug type on first glance. Then after the usual trouncing, Nimona comes along and she's all, You don't have to go find Brandos to battle, you'll have all the battles you ever need. With me. She may not be a jerk, but she sure is throwing up some red flags, let me tell you. Oh god, she's gonna start deleting all the other trainers from the game files. I'm sorry, but after Mega Evolutions and even Gigantamax, this just seems like a real downgrade. Sure, the crystal is pretty, but the emblems on their heads just look really goofy to me. It looks like she snatched Simipore's wig. And if nothing else, it just makes them look top-heavy. They nailed the unique boarding school feel of posh but still cozy with a sense of pure potential and tight community that I fell in love with in Final Fantasy VIII. Entered into a serious relationship before hitting a messy divorce with the Harry Potter franchise. Why Hatsune Miku? I mean, I get why you might not want to show actual Harry Potter assets, but what's the connection here? Then we get to do the whole anime introduction in front of the class, which I never got in the New Zealand system. Here it's more just- Were you here before? Nah, I arrived last week. Maybe that's just because my schools weren't that posh, but do they do that in the US and Europe? Let me know. Kind of. At least when we were in school, it was typically, we have a new student, stand up at your desk and say hi. Whether they did any more than that depended on the teacher. Then there's a story about Sharkaday. No wait, Sharkadet, yeah. A fire child Pokemon who has to choose between two sets of armor. I'm guessing that's a pseudo-legendary I'll meet later. Not really, it's a pretty basic mon. Though I find it very difficult to track down. Then a record of Hall of Fame badges that have been awarded and... Man, they must have had a really bad year last year. Maybe that's when the Volcarona virus happened. How the hell do you imagine that would have gotten started? Once again, these videos continue to be a fun look at the games as well as a fun look into Swade's mindset. I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you.